What's up, everybody? Uh, usually we prep for like 40 minutes because we're not prepared ever, but Sushi Day coming in. No, yeah, Hirsch. No, sorry. We were kind of just hanging out being being dumb, saying dumb stuff to each other with no mic on because, you know, TOS stuff. You know what I'm saying? What's up, guys? 
Welcome. <laughs> I was I literally was just watching Sushi Day stream, getting set up, and then oh great, Nightbot. Guys, Nightbot is a jerk. Also, why did there we go? Money sold. Okay, good, good. Money. I'm so sorry. Dang it! Why is Nightbot the worst? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Also, guys, Sushi Day stream was way fancier than what we were doing tonight. We're doing like, literally, it's like Super Bowl apps, but just on like a regular Sunday. It's kind of what we're doing. The the last app is a little fancy, but but not not that fancy. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, like I will sit on that prepping screen for like an hour sometime, just like not even realizing like what I'm doing, you know. What's up? How did the uh, how the uh, the minier turn out. It looked awesome. It was like a, 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 an almond crusted sole, right? Minier? Minier? Mirnier. Mirnier. That's a tough word to say. Yeah, delicious though. I mean, uh, that means like butter, like basically pan fried, like butter pan fried fish. Amazing. Amazing. Looked great. Also, the gratin looked amazing. I think I saw most of the dishes finished up. Macaroni and Brie, what's up? Carbonite Torch, what's up? Yeah, welcome, guys. Yeah, like I said, not as fancy as Sushi Day stream. So. And also a lot less exercising <laughs> than Sushi Day stream. <laughs> Suppose we could do some exercises, though. Uh, uh, we could copy that. What? Sun does exercises uh, during Sushi Day stream, so uh. you could be the exercise person. You can like literally stand right here and like do burpees and like uh, vertical bike kings, as as they do. Yeah, but then be all sweaty when I was eating. No, well, yeah, Son was talking about Alex, how like sweaty he got. So <laughs> a nice sweaty channel. That's what we're all going for, guys. That's what food streamers do. Sweaty, sweaty chans. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So let's talk about menu tonight. We're doing uh, stuffed mushrooms. Classic. Basically, like the first tab is like Applebee's apps, jalapeno poppers, stuffed mushrooms. Is stuffed mushrooms Applebee's style? What? Stuffed mushrooms at like Applebee's? Or is that a little fancy at Applebee's? Probably. I think that's fancy. Jalapeno poppers, though, for sure, Applebee's style, right? I think that's chilies. Oh, chilies. Or TGI Fridays. Guys, in there it's always Friday, so pretty sick spot. But yeah, we're doing like uh, poppers and mushrooms. But then the finale is gonna be uh, a beef and matrache goat cheese crostini. It's my favorite. Pretty nice. Yeah, it's Buddy's favorite. It's her like birthday meal. She asked for it. She uh, she wants for her birthday. She wants this this dish, which is basically bread, goat cheese, uh, slices of beef. Red bell pepper coolie, wasabi aioli, capers. It's a lot, got a lot going on, a lot of flavors. And uh, tiramisu, that's her like. Oh, we have a shout out to Sushi Day also. Who else in here? And also the Money Soul, is Money Soul in here? Yes, let's do it. Let's do two, let's do two shoot suits. How do I do that? I think it's this right here. Boom. Boom. And also, boom. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, we food streamers gotta stick together, guys. Anyway. Alright, let's get uh let's get uh cooking. You know what I'm saying? As they say. Are we not doing a lot of video? What what? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I, I sometimes forget. We got an intro video that we're gonna play right now. Let's talk about burger real fast. We got bookers. Get a new bottle of bookers. This stuff's getting crazy expensive, so buy it up. Wow, it's only like 60 bucks. It'll be 120 probably pretty soon. But uh, let's pour a little bit. Let's get cooking. Right here, right now. On a side of bourbon. <laughs>
<laughs> Nailed it. First try. <laughs> no, did not. Did not make that. Did not make that, guys. So, uh, also that theme song kind of gets me hyped, and it's kind of catchy. And shout out to my boy Wang Sat for making that video for us. His name is Wang Sack, but it does really good video stuff. Surprising, I know, with a name like Wang Sack. But yeah, he does. He really does. Yeah, so what's up out there? What are you guys doing today? Guess I'm on a pretty nice uh, Sunday. Yes, for real, though. Sushi Day. Thank you for the host. For the uh, raid? Like, it, like what's a host and raid a different thing? They like they made like a change on that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure like what that means. But uh, thank you for the the raid and host. Also, your food. As always, looked amazing, so. What's up? Uh, Ancient Lotus, awesome vid, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, like I said, our boy uh, Wangsack, he may show up, guys. We have a, a, a command to, to uh, ban Wangsack, so. He's hated <laughs> and loved at the same time in this channel, so, you know. Hirsch, uh, why am I not a sous chef anymore? Uh, you know, so, here's my life story. I was born, became a, with the college, for tech, uh, computer science um, minor, so I'm sorry, MIS major, computer science, math minor, got out of school, cooked for like 10 years, trying to be a chef, and you know, I was like, I love to cook and stuff, um, but computers, the pay is better, the pay is better. And um, you know, so I went back to my actual degree, fell, fell back on that. You know, <laughs> what's up, sandwich? Long time no see. Where have you been? We we've been here. Where have you been? You know, but welcome back. Good to see you. So guys, why did they sell me a mushroom not covered in dirt? Yeah, dirt. <laughs> I mean, like, look how like that is like ingrained like in the stem of the mushroom. I mean, Whoops. if you ever actually go foraging, you'll know, see these. Oh yeah, right, right. But then that's those are free mushrooms. I'm I'm paying for these mushrooms. They should do it together. You went to eat nachos with your mom for like for like for, for how long? How long were you eating nachos for? Also, nachos delish. Like, should we do a uh, should we do a nacho stream? We just did those Reuben nachos. A nacho stream. It's like not your stream. Oh. Okay. You could do better. Guys, I could do better. You're better than that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, look at that. With a nacho mode. Oh, okay, nice. Nice. Well, I mean, you said long time no see, so I was like wondering if that was like, uh, you know, like you ate nachos for like 14 weeks. You know? You're like, you, like you've been busy. I know. Like, it's, it's not even dad jokes. It's like dumb puns, you know? It's like, uh, it's like in the kitchen, be like, oh, it smells like up dog in here. And someone's like, oh, what's up dog? No, not much, dog. What's up with you? And like, we're like, oh, hilarious, Frank. And then we hate that person. <gasps> these, these, these were connected in the in in the uh, little bin here. Crazy. All right, yeah. Oh, so uh, guys, also the reason I'm doing this is don't wash mushrooms. Never wash them. They're covered in dirt, but if you wash them, you get rid of flavor. They get waterlogged. It's not good. So you gotta get like a not like a nice wet towel. And just like wipe the dirt off. A little FYI for you there. <laughs> Puns are the lowest form of comedy. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, okay. Uh, so sandwich. Yeah, that wasn't. Yeah, that wasn't that long ago. When we were doing the fresh tortillas, what was that for? What did we make that stream? Uh, the tortillas know. did not turn out great. I do remember that. <laughs> oh, oh, the soup thing? Yeah, um, carne glissada. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another connected mushroom. Crazy. Yeah, that was when, um, yeah, that was when we did the carne glissada. That, like, freaking awesome South American, like, beef stew, basically. That shit was good. What's up, French pancake? Oh, really? He washes much? I mean, okay. It is easier to wash them. Like, this Like this takes time. I mean, if I had, like, a couple of pounds of mushrooms, I'd probably toss them in a colander and hose them down like in, like, the dish pit, honestly. But, no. <laughs> oh. What do you mean? Ancient lotus. Interesting. Have you tried stuffing them with cheese? Well, yeah. Well, here's a little inside tip, guys. 
if there's something you don't like, try covering it in cheese. You know? Little, little, uh, little food tip for you. <laughs> I mean, I, like, literally, that's like, like as a kid, like, like, like eating broccoli. It's like, oh, cover. It's like, it's like cheese whiz. Like, oh, cover it in cheese whiz. Perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah, cover it in cheese, man. Hey, guys. Computer tip: restart the computer, fix everything. Vegetable tip: cover it in cheese. Delicious. There you go. We are doing tech and food in one. Well, yeah, no, French pancake. No, that's, uh, that's, uh, I mean, you know, you know, I mean, I get it. If you're like a commercial kitchen, you have to like wash, you know, a million mushrooms. I mean, I'm just hanging out. I'm just like drinking beers, drinking bourbons, hanging out. So like I have all the time in the world to do this. So, but, uh, I mean, you know, but yeah, I mean, it is definitely not the proper way to, uh, wash mushrooms, actually hosing them down or soaking them, you know? And like, you better get like some dirt. That's just how it is. It's just you know, a little bit of extra flavor. A little bit of extra flavor there. Yeah, was, yeah. So actually, I mean, I I love mushrooms. So, like there is, I freaking love mushrooms. So I don't understand folks not liking mushrooms. Um, raw, they're a little crazy. I would say, like, I mean, it, not liking raw mushrooms. I get, I guess, you know, but like sauteing mushrooms, like. A steak covered in like sauteed mushrooms and like blue cheese is one of the best things in the world, possibly, possibly. So, yeah, dirt's good for you. Yeah, same here. Here, carbonite torch. Cheers. Bourbon to carbonite torch. <laughs> it is. It is dirt zero one. It's not poop. If if, if that's what you're saying. Oh, Hirsch with magic mushrooms? I mean, in my younger days, I did like me some magic mushrooms as well. No, not cool. No, I mean, gr drugs are bad. Guys, sorry. Don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. Who would do that? No one. It's not poop. Zero one. Get out of here. Ah, oh, shit. So, Carbonite, I, I am a big foraging fan. Once again, I'll show my... One of my favorite books is this book here. I love like like foraging to me is like so cool. Like knowing like actual knack, like how to go in the woods and like actually find edible plants, amazing. Um, but yeah, so like, but mushrooms are definitely tricky because I mean mushrooms can kill you, you know. Um, but chanterelles are like one of the few ones that like like you know exactly what they are. There's no guesswork. Ch a chanterelle can't kill you. Yeah, it's awesome. It's not snake poop. Get out of here. But yeah, so yeah, I would. Uh, I'm a huge like foraging uh, fan. Not very good at it, but fan. Wait, did you say hi to Des? What up, Des? Oh, Alec, what's up? How's it going? I need to up my here. This is like two small tags. I'm too far away from it. There we go. There we go. I'm getting old, guys. The eyes are getting weak. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, mushrooms are a great foraging food, but I mean, yeah, some can literally kill you, so it makes me a little nervous. Oh, Western Washington, nice. Yeah, Carbonite. We were out on uh, Orcas Island uh, last year for about a week, and it was freaking awesome, dude. We went uh, Dungeness crab fishing, we went salmon fishing, we saw some killer whales. Yeah, that the uh, the Pacific Northwest is awesome. I'm not sure if you live like near that. Like I'm not sure. Like, well, this Orcas is definitely like, like northwest, but yeah. Yeah, thanks, Alley Cat. Hope you are too. Twenty-five miles from Orcas? Are you kidding me, Carbonite? That's awesome. We love. We we love. We like. We had a great time. Yeah, we went to Orcas. Uh, we went to um. What is it? Uh, what's the city in Canada we went to? Vancouver? No. Victoria. Victoria. Went to Victoria. Um, that's awesome. That's a cool part of the country. Yeah, you live in paradise. Like, no doubt. You live in paradise. We actually, we, 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 we made it to like another trip. Well, not this year. But next year, we're going <laughs> to... I'm 2,500 miles away. <laughs> so close. 
Alright, I think our mushrooms are good to go. Oh, oh we need to get our, one of our sauces going. So, I, one of our sauces for our beef crust crostinis. And then basically, a crostini is just like a piece of bread. Bread! Covered in stuff. <laughs> But uh, we have two sauces going with it. One of the sauces is a red bell pepper coulis. And a coulis is nothing more than um, you get like a bunch of stuff. In this case, red bell peppers. And you cook them and then puree it. That's, that's a coulis. It's like pureed stuff. You know, so. Yeah, guys, I am... Puberty has been a real long process for me. So I'm sorry for the voice cracking. I apologize. Uh, step one, peel any stickers off your peppers. So. <laughs> yeah, no, Hirsch, yeah, nice. Yeah, definitely eggshell. I mean, like, I I loved the chef life. It was amazing. Also, where my knives at? Right here. Shout out to Meisen. Meisen, guys, looking for good knives. Not, not, like, not a sponsor yet. But I love these knives. They're cheap. They're solid steel, they sharpen up, they hold an edge, love them. But yeah, I mean, I loved the chef life. It is fun. It's tough to be a chef. Um, like that, like, I mean, it's like that life is hard. Also, it's a really, there's a lot of bad influences in that world for some reason. Uh, a lot of drinking, a lot of drugging going on, so you gotta be real careful. Especially like, if you're young and you're like susceptible to that lifestyle, be careful. It will get you... I, I have a lot of friends who have literally died because of that lifestyle. Sorry to laugh at that moment, but it's not funny. But it's, it is legit. It is legit. You gotta be careful. So, any young chefs out there, be careful, man. Be smart. This, this is your career and your life, you know? Like, don't be an idiot. Never, ever do drugs, okay? Ow! All right, so let's chop up these bell peppers. Get the pith out of there. Did you know that? What? Money Soul said carbonite makes knives. You make not what? You have a, what? You have fours and everything? Oh my God. Oh my, yeah. That's crazy, carbonite. That's so cool. That's so cool. So there's, uh, what's that knife store up the road from us called? I can never remember. There's a knife store if the road from us. Like, what's like, what's the average price of a knife? Like a thousand dollars. What? Remember that website that um, that Tommy sent us? A thousand dollars. Dude, those knives are like eight hundred no bucks. Way. Yeah, dude, they are crazy expensive. But yeah, dude, like making knives is freaking awesome, dude. That's really really cool. All right, so basically we're gonna chop up our bell peppers here. Where's where's where's, where's our pan at? Where's that pan at? Or a pot at? I mean, chop them up into like doesn't really matter because we're gonna. I mean, we're gonna puree all this, so just kind of get them chopped up into you know manageable pieces. These are about two fifty. It's like that. The place that I'm talking about. Yeah. Two. It's, it starts at two fifty. Yeah. I mean that's like like what's the what like find like the highest price knife on there. I, I, I think I saw one that was like, like, like over a thousand dollars. Oh, I know. It starts at like five dollars. <laughs> the knives do? Yeah, for a vegetable knife. No. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. But like, like find like their nicest knife. That's different though, because they were selling only like only high end stuff. Seven eighty. Is is the highest price knife? Yeah. I mean, that's a that's a pretty expensive knife. Like eight hundred bucks is crazy. I think my best knife is this right here. It's a uh, Masahiro. Single sided, um, it's a, it's a vanadium still. It's, I mean, it's very nice. It's like a, it's a one sided uh, sushi knife, and that's, I mean, I'm, that's like close to 800 bucks. Like so close. Using... This is uh, Mizen. Um, it's like 40 bucks a knife, and they have a lifetime guarantee, lifetime sharpening. Literally put it back in the box, mail it back. A few weeks later, you get it back like razor sharp. Pretty handy, pretty handy. So if you buy two for 80 bucks and you keep like rotating them, you always have a super sharp knife, you know? 
I mean, my go-to, though, as far as, like, my favorite knives, uh, Wustoff and Sean are my go-tos. But. But. All right, so. Also, we've been talking about doing a Mizen giveaway. We do have an, uh, I do have an extra utility knife for Mizen, like a knife this size. This is a, this is a Wustoff, but I have an, a, a Mizen knife this size. We're thinking about doing, like, a giveaway in one of these months. Just gotta figure out when and where that's gonna happen. So. But yeah, I, get, I mean, like one of the worst things about like I go to like people's houses and like cook food for them or whatever. Um, one of the worst things that I see is like, how terrible their knives are. Like you will hurt yourself with a dull knife faster than anything else in your entire kitchen. All right, All right so real fast. Here we go. So in in the pot, red bell peppers. Couple of pads of butter, just that much butter. It's fine. Panzer with the follow. Panzer with the follow. What's up? Thank you. Uh, am I saying uh, there, there, there? There it is. There it is. Panzer one five oh nine. Welcome. Nice. K Meg D. What's up? Maybe you should buy them for me. Maybe you should enter the giveaway. You get a free one. K Meg D. And everybody else. What's up, Panzer? How's it going? All right. So what else is going in here? We're going with some shallots. If you guys don't know what shallots are, they're little bitty onions that are delicious. Also hard to open apparently in this package. So it's gonna do this. Uh, Mizen knives, good for slicing up or uh, slicing open packages. So there you go. Put that in there. Put some garlic cloves in there. Like that. So it's gonna smash this guy up. And like, don't worry about chopping this stuff. It's gonna all cook and boil and Get all nice and soft, and we're gonna puree it. So shopping does not matter. Does not matter. <laughs> uh, Kate, I don't know who uh, Kate Mandy is. Um, she is a stranger and obviously a stream stalker. So you guys record this because I'll end up murdered. Okay. Boom. Let's split. Up. I mean, and boom. Let's put that in there. Like two cloves. You know, because we're throwing like the onions in there. I don't want to get too crazy sharp in here, so put that in there. Put this in there. If I can peel this off here, please, please, please. Thank you. Put that in there. Chop off the little end bit right here. Put that in there. Nice. Okay. There we go. What else goes in here? Oh yeah, the shallot. We're just gonna chop off the ends of this, cut it in half, take off the peel, the skins. It's so late, probably won't see me again, but I enjoy the stream. Oh, okay, well, the pans are having a nice uh, evening, you know? Thanks for stopping in, him with that follow, man. We're gonna be here. We, we try to stream every Sunday night. Um, we've been pretty good recently, I would say. Keeping up a, a Sunday night stream. Um, any garlic pro tips? Don't put your garlic in the fridge and buy it fresh. Don't buy like four cloves. You don't need the, don't need the cloves. Buy like one clove at a time. I mean, I'm sorry, one bowl at a time, you know? All right, there you go. There you go. I wouldn't do the whole like put salt on it and like do that thing, but everybody knows that tip. Everybody knows that. Yeah, guys, I'm being, I'm, I do this aggressively, okay? Stabbies. Stabby stabs. All right, so uh, in our sauce here, we got red bell peppers. We got some garlic. We got some shallots. Also, like, this is a good time if you have, like, some like, old onions. For example, like I do, like this. Just go ahead and use it. Throw what else in there. Like, it's not going to eat raw, you know? But it's got some flavor left. It's not, it's, not, it's not out of the game yet, you know? So chop it up. Toss it in there. Boom. It's beautiful. I like this guy. These are for like sandwiches earlier. Put them in there. You know? You know? All right, I think that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, we're gonna add a couple of carrots too. Cause carrots, carrots add a nice body. And like a little bit of sweetness, you know? So like we got a couple of hand, like one handful of like some nice, some nice carrots in there. All right, now we're just gonna put this guy on the stove. 
Uh, what is that? What is this? Put a bit of olive oil in there too, because delicious. And get it going. I'm gonna get it on like uh, seven. Let it get going, then we'll re uh, reduce it down to like a, a five. A five, six, medium, medium, high, you know. And then uh, it's gonna cook down, add some white wine to it when it gets nice and sweated. And um, yeah, let it, let it get nice. I mean, basically when it's soft enough, when you hit it with the, like, with the blender, it just blends to a nice, consist, like a nice con consistency, pa consistent paste. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sounds good. Bump. And also, bump. Ooh, missed that one, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, what's up? Uh, dude, roasted garlic is legitimately the best thing in the world. It's no joke. Good. All right, so let's see. Next thing we do, we're going to, so roasted, ro roasted, stuffed mushrooms. Hear that? Sizzling back there? Let's hear that. So it is, it's like, it's, it's, it's getting going. All right, so get you a little bit small spoon, which I have a million of these things, so. And you want to bust out the stems of these guys. Hello? And, oh, don't do what I just did. Don't break it in half like that. Try to be a little more gentle. Okay, just kind of wiggle it like that. See, perfect. Boom. But it doesn't really matter. What? That's just kind of like, like hold your mushroom like this, and like wiggle the stem till it, so it pops out like, uh, that one broke. Anyway, if it, if it breaks, get your spoon, kind of use it like a little blade, kind of go around until it pops out like that, see? Boom, nice, nice. Wait, what's up? Affiliates can get, oh, we can get bit badges now? What? What? Awesome. Awesome. Uh-oh. I hear my sauce popping out. Got our butter on the bottom there, the butter's gotta melt, you know. Uh oh. No big deal. Turn it down, no big deal. Okay, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Uh oh, where's my spoon rest? Oh no, it's falling apart, guys. Where's my spoon rest now? Okay, alright. That's uh, that's uh sauteing. Dude, rogue onion, so be careful. You gotta, you gotta watch out. You gotta watch out. Yeah, cool, yeah. I didn't know we get custom bit badges. We do it, uh, bits are enabled, guys. So, if you got some bits sitting around, burn a hole in your pocket, drop them on the shimmy you love. You know? You know what I'm saying? Uh oh, uh oh. Also, these little short stems are not popping off easy. The big guys are way better. I'm also, also, I'm gonna chop off these little, these little bits here on the end. Yeah, these look a little too dirty, and the, the dirt's not coming off, so. Gonna chop them. I'm so sorry. Wow, there it goes! Muddy Soul with the Hundo. Wait, also, wait, hang on, what happened? The Carbonite all, and Panzer also did it? What? <laughs> was that like, was that, was that a triple bit? Drop right there? Crazy. Oh. You got. Guys, I wasn't fishing for bits. I was. I was. I was doing that. Yeah, man, yeah, that was a triple bit. Drop right there. Muddy Soul. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Muddy Soul, Carbonite, and Panzer. Look at that. Look at that. That was awesome. <laughs> you guys are the best. <laughs> yeah, guys. Guys, the bit alert is working. Sweet. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely freaking done. All right. So yeah, uh, we're just getting those uh, mushroom stems out of there. Which like, so those are gonna be our uh, stuffing for the mushrooms also. Another muddy soul. Another muddy soul bit drop? Oh, poor muddy too. Guys, uh, give a shout out earlier to, to muddy. She was having some audio issues and nothing is more frustrating than like, Getting hype, getting like, oh, we're gonna stream. Here we go. Let's do this. And then like, you go to stream, and like something like, like some like tech piece messes up and it ruins your entire stream. That's what happened to her. Wait, the first one didn't go through. Crazy. 
But yes, go give Muddy a follow. Her stream got hijacked by tech issues tonight. Very sad. Very frustrating. Been there before. I know how it feels. <laughs> Wait, oh, 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 oh. Oh, I, I got you. I got you. As bits are, I mean, hilarious because like it's just a way for Amazon to make a ton of money. But uh, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're pretty cool. All right, here we go. Almost done with our stems. Oh, another Hondo! Muddy, look at you. Thank you so much. Guys, for real, Muddy is the, is the best. Give her, give her a follow. She does food and games. A double threat. So, you know. All right, so I'm also gonna, so I'm gonna like get a little, make a little bit, make the little cavity here a little bit bigger. Put all that in a little pile here of stems. Oh no, oh no. Almost, almost lost some. 200 bitties. All right, so yeah, 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 yeah. Let's kind of get a little, like basically have like, it's like a little cavity down there. Just like scoop out a little bit of stuff. Try to not break them. I broke them a little bit, but I think it's fine. That was probably fine. If you want to, you can kind of like hold it and kind of spin it around a little bit. Do you need a spoon? That's a small spoon. Pretty small spoon. You've got a lot of small spoons, though. I have, guys. Uh, I have a weird fascination with small spoons. I'm not sure why, but I love them. Alright, check out our sauce real fast. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Looking good. Let's add a little bit of salt and pepper to it. Because everything needs salt and pepper in life. So we're gonna toss a little bit of that in there. A little bit of that. A couple of grinds of this. And and White wine. We just got some like leftover uh, Chardonnay, or what is this? It's like white table wine. Just whatever you got in the fridge or use up. Make sure it's like drinkable. You know, like don't use like some garbage, but like, I would drink that, you know? So, there you go. And now let that just, just simmer all down. Simmer down now. I mean, it smells amazing. It smells sweet. It smells kind of tart. Kind of spicy. So yeah, this is it. Let's let it go. Let's let it go. All right. Okay. Dude, gas is the best. You guys are right. Yeah. So when we bought this house, it didn't have a gas stove, and my first thing was like, "Oh hell no!" And so gas stove. No. A side of white wine. That's right. That's right. That's our sister channel. Go check it out on tw on uh, Twitter. Aside of white wine, actually, that probably is a thing. Don't actually don't do that. We don't uh, we, like we don't even uh, know them. We don't even know them, dude. I mean, I'm telling you, man, Hirsch. Like, I mean, back in the kitchen days, like we wouldn't drink. Well, that's not true. <laughs> we usually wouldn't drink pre pre or during service. Sunday brunches. If you guys got good like like a Sunday brunch. That kitchen staff has been drinking from the time they got there, 100%. Like that was our thing. Like, like Friday, Saturday nights, it's, I mean, it's like it's like crunch time, so we would be pretty good. But like Sunday brunch, we're like we're just like making eggs and like and like you know like you know like French toast and like that kind of stuff. We're like let's we're, like, we're pouring beers early. We're doing beers early, boys. <laughs> Yeah, dude, literally, working, like, in a kitchen is, like, working, like, on a pirate ship. It's, like, no joke. Everyone cusses a lot, probably drinks too much. Everything is sharp and on fire. Uh, <laughs> so, it's crazy. It's crazy. Folks drop out all the time because, I mean, it's a very taxing life. So, like, you lose chef's time. But, dude, it's so fun, though. So fun. It is, it's a young man's game, though. I will, I will definitely say that. I will definitely because, I mean, either, either you make it huge, like, either you, either you're, like, Gordon Ramsay, or you're, like, a nobody, you know? 
There's like very like there's like not a lot of middle ground. That's not entirely true, but like it's like there's not a large middle ground. Either either you're like owning three restaurants and doing great, or you're like a line cook for you know twenty years. But yeah. All right, so scooping these guys out, we're gonna start cooking these guys in one second. I just gotta get these guys. I get all my filling here done. And honestly, that, uh, that mushroom is kind of terrible. Not a, not a big cavity to stuff, so I'm gonna put him in the in the, the filling. Yeah, so pretty much like the the name of the game here. If you don't have like a, a nice, if the mushroom isn't like a nice cavity to fill, just go and toss it here in your pile of filling mix because your filling is going to be mostly the uh, like the mushroom piece you did not use okay that's good this was kind of bust we should toss that guy in there too okay we did we did i ask i asked the question as i did it so whatever you're addicted to the food scene on youtube wait what's what does that mean what's the why the why why the why the maca comment is there some interesting YouTube food content. Uh, also, uh, do you guys watch the, uh, the, the, the Hungry Channel on Twitch? It is great. It's, uh, it's basically some company, like, bought, like, like all the old, like, like, oh, you watch so many hours of it? Interesting. Yeah, the pants are, well, I, well, my new thing on YouTube is I watch, like, a lot of, like, hunting and, like, fishing channels because I have a hunting and fishing itch that's all of a sudden popped up. So, but yeah, we're going fishing this coming up weekend. So next stream should be fish tacos with the fish that I caught that weekend. So it should be like the freshest fish tacos ever made, you know. Um, but yeah, the uh, the Twitch Hungry Channel is one of my guilty pleasures. It's so good. It's like a bunch of like like old school like nineties. Shows like cooking shows, it's great. It is great. Look at that. Look at that. I'll put that box. We should have had some herbs to it, I think. Maybe not. We'll have some basil at the very, very end. I don't know. Probably that needs it. We're adding a lot of stuff to the uh, to the goat cheese, so it may not need the herbs and the saps. What kind of fish? Oh, what kind of fish? Uh, we're probably going to do catfish tacos. Well, I mean, we're fishing for, so uh, we're doing freshwater fishing, uh, which is mostly bass. Um, so we're fishing for largemouth bass, but um, if you get bored, because I mean, bass is, I mean, it's a lot of like cast, cast, real, cast, real, like it's very active, but you can like, at night, if you get kind of bored of like fishing for bass, you're gonna toss out a bunch of lines for catfish and just sit there and wait. Like sit there, have a couple beers, and just chill, you know? And like wait for a catfish to move in. And then you're like, boom, catfish, got you. Done. Done so. Alright, let's get our mushrooms cooking. We got our cats done. Let's get a pan. Where did I put my little pants? I use two of these guys probably, two little little pans here. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. But yeah, so yeah, um usually for me I don't love I don't love largemouth <laughs> just go get drunk and go noodling. Oh dude, that's that is so scary. Noodling, not cool. For me, I would never do that, dude. Like folks die doing that too, like that's crazy. Um, yeah, I don't, I mean, to, for me, freshwater fish, a lot of it's too fishy. Like, to me, largemouth bass is so fishy. I, I, I just can't do it. Um, wait, so muddy soul, so noodling is where it's mostly for catfish, I'm pretty sure. Um, but you get in the, you get in the water and there's like, uh, like a tree trunk or something and you hold the bait in your like fist, I say, like, say this is like some bait. Hold it in your fist, put it in the water. The catfish then goes and pretty much bites like all of the here. You grab its insides and you yank it out of the water with your bare hands. <laughs> it is crazy. And like the thing about catfish, catfish, like you know, you think about catfish, they're this big, right? The deeper the water, the more 
the older the catfish is, I've seen catfish where dudes are like holding it like this, and the tail is like to the ground. Like they can get huge. So if you get a like a like a big boy, and it's connected to your arm, it can it can drown you. There's cases where it has drowned grown men. <laughs> it is it is crazy though. It is crazy. Um, there's like competitions. There's like you know conventions and stuff where like where dudes are doing this, but nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I am not that brave. Also, like, water is scary, and, like, drowning is scary, so, you know. You know. Not, not my thing, personally, so. Alright, boom. Let's do this. A little bit of olive oil. A little bit of butter. Chew. Where are you at, butter? Yeah, no, totally. That's exactly what, yeah. You gotta be, you gotta be like a nice like 30 rack of Miller Lights down before you try, try that. It's, it's silly. All right, some butter, some olive oil, and our mushroom tips. <laughs> I mean mushroom stems. So don't you like that one? guys in there. We'll get in there. Alright, we're also gonna throw a little shallot in there because it's delish. Yeah, exactly. Hence the drowning is right, Carbonite. Exactly right. Alright. We get another uh, spoon over here. Alright, we do need a little bit of this is definitely getting some Dried so. Where you at? Basil. Oh yeah, here we go. All right. So, think about dried herbs. Little 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 tip for you. If you're if you're using dried herbs, put them in early. They need uh, like they need time to uh, to uh, evolve. You know. So we're doing a little bit of dried basil, a little bit of dried dill weed, and a sprinkle of rosemary. Just a little bit. Probably too much rosemary than I wanted there, but it's fine. It's fine. Alright, let's get our. Oh, that smells good though. Yeah, your sprinkle was more of a dollop? Yeah, it's more like a splash, even. It's fine though. Can it's you fine. splash something that's not a liquid? Sure. I, mean, I, I say yay. I say nay. I say yay. Alright, doggo, going out. Yeah, dude, mushroom and butter. Come on now. Come on. It's the best. Comedian Catherine Madigan has a great bit about noodling. Oh, really? Okay, later. So I'll definitely look that up uh, later. I mean, the whole concept is ridiculous. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> like, like, to me, it's like one of those things, like, who was the first guy to be like, hey, guys, have I got an idea for you? You know how we like, using, like, poles and stuff? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Let me, let me show you how to do this, boys. Let me show you how to really fish for fish. So. All right, let's get our shallots here chopped up. Just a little rough chop on those bad boys. Like so, kind of fine though. You want to be kind of fine, but it doesn't really matter. As long as like, I mean, it's not like giant bits, and you're probably good. Like that. Toss that in there. Toss these in here now. Oh man, this smells great. Great. No, noodling does not sound, yeah, it sounds, uh, not food related for sure, but it is. I mean, I guess it is. I mean, honestly, like, the fish they catch, like, they're gigantic, and they like, don't taste great. They do not taste great. All right, also. 
also garlic going in here. This one you do want to get pretty fine though, because this you won't actually puree, so you want it to be pretty, pretty good to go. Pretty mixed in. Also, any like big pieces, go ahead and crush them down. Get back your spoon, they break pretty easily, but you don't want any huge bits. So, a couple here and there. Uh, you want them to keep them pretty, pretty fine. What a parody! Alright, so that and that. And then we're gonna need our garlic press. A handy dandy kitchen appliance right here. Appliance? Tool? Hey! Sorry, head, headphone warning. Thank you. Alright, a little bit of that. A little bit of garlic in there. Okay. Alright, okay. How's our. How's this stuff looking? A little more white wine in there, honestly. Yeah, like, don't want that to get too dry. You want to keep it pretty moisturized, okay? Also, speaking of moisturized, a little bit of white wine in this. Oh, baby. Woo! Nice. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to cook this down a little bit. We're going to mix this with some cream cheese. I mean, I'm sorry, with some, with some, uh, with some boars and cheese. Not cream cheese, boars and cheese. A way cooler cream cheese. You guys uh, know boars right here? It's like a garlic and fine herb cheese, gourmet cheese. I'm not sure what gourmet cheese means, but that's what, that's what it is. It's basically cream cheese with like a bunch of stuff in it. It's delicious though. A little more of this and that. I'm gonna finish this bottle of white wine off for sure. That cooked down. That's looking good. Quite enough of that. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Steam on the screen. I mean, yeah. I mean, you can't overcook them. Um, pretty much when you're cooking mushrooms, you just want to get the moisture out because um, they're because they're, they're full of water. They're full of water. So that's the only like like actual rule about mushrooms. Okay, so what is next? I guess we'll do uh, we'll start start working on our jalapenos next, huh? All right, so stuffed mushrooms, kind of fancy, I'd say. Jalapeno poppers, not fancy at all, but freaking delicious. It's basically like this is kind of like Super Bowl food, you know, but just on a, like on a regular uh, Sunday. So there you go. So there you go. But yeah, so we're doing some stuffed mushrooms next. I mean, I'm sorry, we're doing some stuffed jalapenos next. Jalapeno poppers, if you will. So, so yeah, yeah. Guys, this is a pro stream right here tonight. Jalapeno poppers, stuffed mushrooms. Literally what you can get at TGI Fridays <laughs> any like given day. <laughs> What's up? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so Pirate D, so oh, yeah, nice. Dude, send me that, uh, yeah, send me, that, send me, that, send me that, that message. Wait, where is Red Deer from? Is it like, uh, did he do, um, did he do uh, like sausage or like just like, like, like the cuts from the actual animal? Cause I am, you know, dude, like, you know I'm down. All right, this is good to go. That's good to go. We're gonna, gonna let that cool off a bit. Let's test out our uh, sauce here. Yeah, not quite. I'm pretty much like wanna cook this down where it's like kind of falling apart. So like let let's like let that go, you know. Oh, a disc cut from the shank. Oh baby. Oh, they did uh, like a Europe mount on the head. Interesting. 
Yeah, dude, I got a big, I got a hunting itch right now. I've got to get in the woods and like act like go hunting soon, soon. Hog probably. Like, there's so many hogs to kill around here, man. And like, hogs are a dangerous animal to have on your property. They are nasty and they're mean, um, and they're a literal rodent, but they taste good. So everybody wins, you know. Party. Here's to you, my man. Cheers, guys. Raise them cheer glasses in the air if you got them. They ruined cross for sure, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So we're working on our jalapeno poppers here, boys and girls. Also, guys, if you're doing like jalapenos, uh, my hands are kind of clammy. So, give me a little starch here real fast. Put my gloves on. Well, I should buy powder gloves that would solve this entire thing, so. Bourbon time? Hey guys, Spody hates open, uh, open, uh, open cabinets. Oh no, we forgot something with these though. Gotta add this. Got to add the breadcrumbs to it. That's my bad. That's my bad. What is that? What is that, Panzer? Uber. Good enough, man. Good enough. That fish is drinking something out of a cup. So cool. Do I cook everything with bourbon? No, but I drink bourbon pretty much while I cook everything, though. So yeah. All right, so add a little covering of breadcrumbs there. Toast these guys up. It's gonna add some nice texture. Okay, nice. Yeah, once that toast up, when we do our jalapenos. All right, so jalapenos, right? I'm sure you guys are familiar with this. Jalapenos are spicy in this part. Like the seed and the pith. So we're going to cut that stuff out. Save our tops though, because we're going to... We are going to top them on our cool little rack. Uh, no, that's um, that's just uh, breadcrumbs. Just, just panko breadcrumbs. Japanese-style breadcrumbs. Right here. So adds a nice texture. Adds like some body to it. You know, just some standard stuff. Yeah, the cheese is going to be cream cheese. That's going to be like the binding agent for the whole thing. And cheddar, right? No, oh yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, that's for the, no, and this is only, I'm sorry, the Borzen. Uh, the Borzen goes in here. Uh, the, the cheddar and cream cheese go in here. I can't, I gotta, I make sure I don't mix up my jalapenos. My jalapeno halves. That'd be, that'd be embarrassing. The tops, can, I think we can probably mix and match, but uh, we can't mix up the actual halves of the jalapeno. All right, so first step, cut these bad boys in half. Like you so. All right. All right, I think we're good here now. Yeah, we're good. Ah, Games Mom, what's the follow? Games Mom, what's up? What the follow? Welcome. You're, you are definitely a Sushi Day viewer. I saw you earlier. I'm, I'm guessing you're married to Games Dad. If I had to take a wild stab at it. But maybe not. Maybe not. All right, so we're just gonna take out the pith and the uh, seeds from these guys. Just do a cross cut, be careful here. Don't cut your finger off until it pops out, like so. Scrape it down, if there's any little bits of extra in there. Like so. I mean, I don't, I leave a little bit of the, of the, of the pith in there because I'm not, I'm not gonna spice, you know? I and mean, they are jalapenos, so there should be some spicy there, you know. I think people understand that. Pith. 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 It's like. 
I'm not sure what it's like with a like with a lisp. Sounds like a noise. Pith. I'm feeling real pithy today. So cut that stuff out. Leave a little bit if you want to, because uh -huh. it's good. Sorry, Hirsch. What's up? What? Hirsch? What? What the H night bot? Will Hirsch, also, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us tonight. Yeah, the follows are usually pretty good. Yeah, we still love you, you know? Don't let, don't let Nightbot, you know, like, like do you wrong, you know? Let me go check on my uh, sauce back here. It's sounding like it's bubbling up. Probably getting close here. We're getting close. Oh, uh, yeah, the pepper's looking pretty soft. Gonna let it go a wee bit longer. It may have the rest of that uh, white wine to it. Might as well. Not much left. Crank it. And crank it up! Okay. Like, pretty much like, a, like with a Kool-Aid, you can't mess it up. I mean, it's just, the, like, the flavors are already in there. A little bit white, a little bit of wine here and there. It's not going to hurt anything. But, yeah, you know. You know. Okay, so, boom. Also, guys, gloves for jalapenos are important uh, for everyone, especially if you're a dude. Because you may make a mistake and not properly wash it off and then go to the bathroom and ruin your weekend. Okay? Keep that in mind. Also, watch, watch, watch your eyeballs. No matter what sex you are, gender you are, you know? Eyeballs are a thing. So be careful. Jalapeno juice can mess you up. Okay, put that. Get over here. Get over there. Seeds. Okay. Like I said, leave a couple around for the spice, because spice is nice. Panzer wants to know if you have much experience with wine. Ooh, what does that mean? Drinking it? Tons. I mean, I think I'm a, I'm fairly wine knowledgeable, I would say. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a sommelier by any stretch of the imagination, but I mean, I could probably pair some stuff up if I've never had to. I've, I've cooked several, like, wine dinners where, like, wine was the focal point and, like, we had to make, uh, you know, you know. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. This one is full of pith and full of seeds. Yeah, that would be too much right there. I like to mix them up where, like, your, like, your guests may not know which ones are spicy or not. So, like, like, oh, it's like, it's like, it's like Russian roulette. It's like shishito peppers. Yeah, dude. So, guys, so shishito peppers... They're, are they Japanese? I'm not sure. But they taste, most of them taste like, 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 like a green bell pepper. Very mild, tasty, you know. But every once in a while, you get one that is a banger. And you get destroyed. <laughs> so, careful. Careful with those guys. Uh, apparently, they're worse in like the dry months. Like uh, in like the wet season, they're all pretty standard. In like the dry months, they get spicier. So keep that in mind at all times. Okay, here we go. Yeah. So keep them a little spicy, you know. Keep your guest uh, guessing. Is that? Keep your guess, uh, guessing, is that, is that right? All right, last one. Last pip. Macaroni and Brie had a pro tip. What's up? A solution of baking soda and water will help to alleviate the pain of some spiciness gets in your eyes or others. Okay, there. all right, so like soak your eyeballs or junk in... <laughs> Take us on water? Okay. Alright, nice. Okay, I think we're good here. Oh, no, no minds with the follow. What up, no, with the follow? Welcome, thank you. Alright, let me get these out of here. This is literally napalm. Okay. Okay. Alright, okay, alright. 
Dude, look at all these scenes. Whew. That's a dangerous area right there. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Is that for this? It's for that. I'm trying to keep them stacked up. What does? You gotta cut under your nail bed and work with having arrows once? Yeah, dude. No. Dude, pepper. I mean, like, literally, like, this is like the pepper's defense, you know? Um, I'm not sure if you guys know about ghost peppers. Uh, it's the Indian pepper. Like, that became a thing because they use that to, to scare away elephants. And we're like, oh, white elephant? A repellent? Let's eat that. Let's see what it tastes like to us. Like, no big deal. Elephants, bunch of babies. You know? So. Whew. All right, what are we doing next? Should we get some stuff built? Probably. Props. Let me get some uh, passionate paper going on. Do these guys. Okay. Ooh, that saw sounds like it's good to go. I think it's probably good. I think that's gonna go. Everything seems pretty sad. All right, let's go and kill that heat. Let that go. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So this is gonna be our pan for our mushrooms. Let's get our. Also, let's get our oven on to full 400 for both the jalapenos and the mushrooms. So. Whew! Guys, it's getting hot in here too. So take off all your clothes, okay? All right, also need a, uh, so our our one sauce is the, uh, should we do the wasabi aioli, Spody? Yeah. Because you love it, don't you? Okay. So, the, so the one sauce is the red bell pepper coolie, which is amazing. The other sauce is a wasabi mayonnaise. Oh wait, got a Topsy? Are you guys Bob's Burgers fans? <laughs> Because that was an episode they did about about, uh, about Topsy. So. Who is the uh, Edison. Edison. Thomas Edison, the elephant did killer. You, did your answer hurt? Oh, well, 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 huh? um, oh, as a substitute for jalapenos. I mean, if you don't like spicy stuff, then don't try to do spicy stuff. I mean, but, but. How about zucchini? These, I mean, these are close to like bell peppers, like. Like they, have you ever seen like the bag of like the multicolored small bell peppers? Like those are almost the exact same shape, very mild, um, and you know, and good to go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sweet peppers. Yep, Anaheim's. Yep, exactly. I mean, Anaheim's are just big though, so, so you know, so it's up, it's up to you. It's up to you. But like those like bags, like the small. Oh, no. Gloves. Guys, we're out of gloves. Only have one left. It's probably fine. Alright, said that guy for the filet though. Um, also, what is this? Oh, yeah, well, I'm all over. Okay, okay, what's next? What's next? Um, okay, so let's get let's get everything stuffed and good to go, then we'll do the gross okay? That's probably probably the, the best plan. So, cheers to you guys. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let's do the, uh, let's do, uh, the, the wasabi mayonnaise first. Do that first. We have mayonnaise. I need you. I need you. My life. Okay. Alright, so we got the mayonnaise out. Let's get a little, let's get a bowl going on. Probably good for that. All right, so wasabi mayonnaise, pretty easy. Let me give you a little tip here about the main ingredients. Mayonnaise and wasabi, shocker. <laughs> there you go. So first step, get some mayonnaise. We don't need a ton, like it's like one big spoon, it's probably fine. And how much, probably good. All right, wasabi, powder, boom, like this. It's pretty much, just, it's just horseradish. Also, guys, a little, I don't like ruin your life right now, but whenever you go to a, like a Japanese restaurant and get wasabi, it's not wasabi. 
It's just green colored horseradish. Okay, I'm sorry to like, like tell you that, but it's true. They are lying to you, to your face. To your face! Yeah, wasabi and mayonnaise? Oh, I know, I know, I know, it's crazy. It's crazy, also this is like an old, like, why is it, why is it like this? Oh, did it get wet? Hello? Get in there. Mayonnaise, get in there. I mean, wasabi, get in there. Okay. So then, we need some celery salad. Where are you at, celery sauce? I need you in my life. Here we go. A little bit of soy sauce to kind of thin it out some. It's like that much, like a tablespoonful. Okay. Stir it up. Stir it up. Till it's there we go. So it's smooth. It smells really good. It smells like sushi. Get it off there. Got your finger also. Taste it. Definitely more like more wasabi in there. Like a lot more of the wasabi. I think it's no wasabi at all. So get in there, wasabi. Get in there, wasabi! Okay, we're good on that. Probably, maybe, who knows. Okay. It's better, it's better. Ooh, tasty, okay. Now, a little bit of lemon juice. That's lime juice. A little bit of lemon juice for that brightness, you know? You got the tar, you got the fat, you got the all that stuff. Add a little bit of brightness to it. It's like a little, little drizzle there. Stir that up. Taste it. Mmm, it's pretty tasty. I'll say a little more wasabi powder in there. That should be good. That, that should be good. Stop, stop being so powdery. Powder. Okay, nice. Nice. That little splash of water too. It's a little thick. A little thick. Cause it should be like a sauce, not like an actual like like not like mayonnaise, you know. Should be a little more drizzly. There. That's looking good. That's looking like wasabi mayonnaise should look. Wait, what's up? What's up? Oh, cottage and ketchup? Yeah, no, gross. Guys. It's so good. Guys, let me tell you a story that Spody, Sp ever since I'm, I've known Spody, which is many years now, she has tried to convince me that cottage cheese and ketchup is a tasty dish. It is. No. Gross. Gross. She literally, as, as a kid in upstate New York, where weirdos live, apparently. Uh, in Gallatin, Tennessee. Ah, uh, Tennessee the worst. Um... They would get cottage cheese in, in a bowl, would make a little well in the middle, and put a big squirt of ketchup. And they would scoop the cottage cheese and like dip it in the ketchup with everybody. You won't even try it so you can't talk about it. Because it sounds disgusting. <laughs> Carbonite, yep, there we go. There we go. Carbonite is on board. <laughs> Yeah, because it sounds so gross. It sounds so gross. And I like cottage cheese, and I like ketchup for the most part. But a cottage cheese, ke yeah, that's gross. Yep, 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 that is gross. You are correct, French pancake. You are correct, sir. Yes. <laughs> oh, great. Also, yes. guys. <laughs> yes. 
I'm not going to tell you why, but Sweet Dole Fruit is biased to this whole conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Do not trust anything he says about this. He's, he's biased. He Actually, he is Spody. He, he and Spody <laughs> are the same person. No, he's not. <laughs> Guys, raise your glasses to anti-team ketchup. No! Get them in the air. Whatever you got. Drink your milk. Drink your water. Drink your wine. Have Sweet a beer. Dollar. Don't drink it. But anything. whatever you do, do not drink your cottage cheese and ketchup together. Cheers cottage to you guys. Cottage cheese. Gross. Not ricotta. I'm a monster. Man, that Booker's though. That Booker's. Booker's are delicious. What? I said you love candy corn? Dude, I like candy corn. I mean, it's, it's, it's fine. It's better than cottage cheese and ketchup for sure. Spuddy is now flipping me off behind the camera, guys. No, couldn't, he's not. Couldn't, couldn't even do it on stream. No, he's not. Wait, no, he's not. What? You're a lady. Okay, alright, okay, alright, okay, alright. Let's get our stuff stuffed. Alright, boom, we got this. Oh, we gotta shred some cheese. Oh, no, I hate shredding cheese. I'm scared. Well, I'm getting scared. Where you at? Cheese joiner. Spody. What? Here it is. Oh, I'm scared. No, no, Booker's is delicious. Not Booker's Carbonite. Gross. Guys, guys, gross. It did sound like you said Booker's. <laughs> I, I know. It was on purpose, guys. I was joking around. All right, boom. Boom. We need some cheddar cheese. Yeah, so our jalapeno stuffing is just basically cheddar cheese uh, and cream cheese. Yeah, so. oh, you, oh, you make your own ketchup, but would you put that ketchup in the cottage cheese? Yes. Probably not, because gross. Roast tomatoes, skin strain, boiled, yep, yeah, there you go, with a spice garnier. You fancy. You fancy, no. Alright, shred some cheese, guys. I would bust out the Cuisinart, but I don't need like that much for like this many peppers, so we're just gonna do it by hand. Oh, would you so like if 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 you made your own ketchup, you would put it in a cottage cheese? No guys, alright, okay. Okay, you know what? Here we go. Here we freaking go. What? Next stream, we're making that. And I, 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 I want to try it. Okay. Good. Okay? Your mind will be blown. We're going we're gonna to buy some freaking cottage cheese. We have ketchup. And we're going to... And you know what? I'm going to freaking taste it. And tell you how disgusting it is. You have to go into it with an open mind. I'm going to. With a mind open, that is going to be gross. No. Yeah. Also, should we show the cool bottle that I bought yesterday? So guys, we went to a yard sale yesterday, and this guy had for five dollars a pre-prohibition bottle. Like, 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 literally, like this is what like whiskey came in pre-prohibition, and then they had prohibition, which then you can't sell like, like liquor at all. Um, and then they they repealed that. But like this is like in like uh, from like nineteen ten, I think. There's a date on there somewhere, but it's it's a it's a company in Canada, but the 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 bottles made in the USA. It's it's like the top's broken, but like there's like a weird little spout on it. It's crazy looking. Anyway, pretty cool, pretty cool. Anyway, neat, you know. I like history stuff, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, get that in there. You had to try the ketchup cheese monstrosity into the knife giveaway? <laughs> oh, oh, that's hilarious, actually, French pancake. <laughs> yeah, guys, if you want to uh, possibly win the Mizen knife, you have to post on Twitter you eating the grossest thing I've ever heard of in my life. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm sure it's good. I like the word monstrosity. <laughs> All 
Oh, the oh the sweeter one you make, you wouldn't put it in cottage cheese. Oh, interesting. Dude, no, I love kimchi. Also, kimchi and cheese in general is crazy good. Um, what were we watching? They had like they were like doing like it was like it was like a kimchi cheese burrito, and I was like, hell yeah. Well, this monster puts cheese on apple pie. Yeah, classic, uh, a classic combination. Gross. Not just cheese, extra sharp red uh, red rind hoop cheese. Slug thug. Uh, we live in Nashville. Slug thug. <laughs> I would not mess with with a slug thug. It's like a slug, it's like real slow, like drawing a gun. He's like, you're fucking dead. Yeah, uh, Harsh. Uh, we live in Nashville. Dude, no, I love kimchi, dude. I love it. Literally, Spuddy will sometimes find me. Um, like I, I, I'm a programmer, like by trade. Um, so I, I sometimes I have to like, like work late because like a project, you know, whatever. And like, if I'm like working late and like kind of hungry, I'm like, give me a jar of kimchi. Like, I'm eating this like kimchi, like with chopsticks, like I, like out of a jar. This, I love the stuff. Let's, grilled cheese, I would that. Uh, wait, didn't we do that? No. We did a kimchi, oh, we did a, um, what's the bacon and cheese, was that? That wasn't kimchi, that was it. That was the corn and the condensed milk and the, was, was there kimchi in that? No. There's some kind of like, ah! Uh, Nashville is Whiskey Town? Um, no, well, Kentucky is like where bourbon is like officially made, but we're really close to, uh, to Kentucky, so we get some pretty sick bourbons. Yeah, dude, kimchi or grilled cheese though? It, like, down. Well, I did get a kimchi Reuben recently that was awesome. Dude, pure, cu uh, pure cubed daikon kimchi. That's what we did that on our, um, uh, the Doc Boki streams, buddy. Oh, like, yeah. like, 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 package that I bought. That was the Daikon kimchi. It was awesome. You did not love it. <laughs> it is sour. It is sour, so. Okay, we're almost done shredding this freaking cheddar cheese here. Okay, I think we're good on that. Eat this little block. I did it. It's gone now. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. It's fine. All right. So next in this is some cream cheese. I mean, I love anything pickled though, like like pickles, sauerkraut, kimchi, freaking whatever, jalapenos, jardinero. Like if you pickle it and it's kind of spicy, I I am in. I am in. Pickled garlic. Pickled garlic, guys, you guys had it before? Pickled garlic is one of the best things in the freaking world. I'm not just kidding you. I'm not pickle. <laughs> All this pickle talk, that's Cody want pickles. Yeah, so like, so pickled garlic, like, it, it, it it's so mild. You ate a lot tonight? Oh, yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah. Black garlic, also crazy. Uh, that's also fermented, right? Isn't black garlic fermented? Pretty sure it is. All right, just gonna gonna mix this stuff up here. I should have used put this in a bigger bowl. I see. I may do that right now. I should have used one bowl. It's a waste of a bowl, but it's fine. Get in there. Get in there. Cheese. Cheese on cheese on cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, black garlic is soy fermented uh, garlic. Crazy. Sounds delish. Oh, 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 yo soy, like you are fermented garlic. Is that, is that, is that the freaking joke there actually, Dolph Fruit? Is that a, is that a Spanish joke? She's on fire. <laughs> I, I literally did this. I was like, oh my God, this looks like something like burning behind me. I don't even notice, I don't even notice yet. Uh, also guys, uh, what's the command to show me almost burning the house down in the past? Pirate D would know. It's probably like fire. 
probably. Can someone do, uh, oh, there it is. Is, uh, is that it? Oh, wait, is also, is Nightbot dead? <laughs> no, nope, nope. Fire <laughs> not ex there was no explosion. Okay, well, Nightbot's still working. What is the command for that clip? I don't know. Someone do, uh, do bang commands. Do, uh, uh, exclamation point commands, buddy. Yep. <laughs> yep, sex explosion happens all the time on this channel. Do. Alright, go to that. Let's see what the... See what the command for that for that clip is. There, there is a... For the oh, oh <coughs> interesting. Bless you, Spody. We should have it as a command. I thought we did already. All right, so here's our filling for our uh, jalapenos, guys. It's just literally cream cheese and cheddar cheese mixed up together. All right, that's good to go. Also delicious. Yeah, what is the man for that? I mean, it is a pretty good, it's a pretty good clip. We're almost burned the entire house down, so hilarious. Hilarious. Wait, does garlic go in this? It does, doesn't it? It does. It does. Oh, I, I put the thing in the sink, though, like an idiot. That's fine. It's probably fine. It's gonna rinse out the uh, old garlic. Like so. And then pop in the new garlic, like so. And then splooge it. Splooge in there, garlic. Okay, nice. All right, I think that's probably good for that. Okay, all right. Our jalapeno stuffing is good to go. There it is. What is it? Oh, okay. Oh, wait, I thought it was already there, though. Interesting. Yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, do exclamation point fire for the time I almost burned the entire thing down. Oh, lordy, lord, lord. I that's my go-to sandwich. That and like the club. Well, the club is, is like a go-to. It's, it's like I mean they're expensive. It's like eight bucks a sandwich. The club, like one half, is like this much. It's huge. So like, it's it's like, it's like two meals in one. So Asian flank steak is great. Also. Don't tell anybody, but I did. I'm a shoplifter. <laughs> yeah. Seven dollars for a handkerchief for a fifteen dollar sandwich? Come on, Mitchells. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I paid for it. But I wanted to shoplift it. I, I wanted to so bad. But I did it. Cause I'm an adult and a, a good person. Yeah, dude, flank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we have a. Uh, he admitted to being a cat burglar on stream like an idiot. I did put it in my pocket. I was like, I can steal this so easily. And Spider's like, don't you, hey. don't you dare. Yeah, no, actually, no, it's just true. Oh, wait. I did steal it. Oh, wait, 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 what, wait, what name did I steal? I literally, Spody made me not steal it, which is, I, I was like, what a square. You know what I'm saying? Guys, shoplifting, it's, it's, a, it's a rush, it's great. It's a crack. You guys like, ever do crack before? Don't do crack, but it's amazing. Okay? <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I've never done crack before. But it's probably great, though. I mean, come on. It's probably amazing, you know? Uh oh, okay, okay make these. I'm kidding. I, I'm not done crack before either. <laughs> Guys, crack is bad. Crack is definitely wet. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Power D. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, great. Great. Anyway, guys, been fun hanging out. Have a good night. We're going to end the stream now. So, hopefully. Okay, bye.
Spody, where are you? In the stream! Hurry! Stop it. Uh, also, guys, this filling. Whoo! Delicious. Delicious. Okay. What's next? Let's do our mushroom filling next. And then we start making stuff. Okay, so. Alright. Mushroom filling is boars and cheese. What up, my soul? Welcome back. Oh, this stuff is so good. It's it's like cream cheese, like full like garlic and herbs. Which I mean, come on, the cream cheese by itself is delicious. Get in there, get in there. A little spoon here. There's little there's little bits off the paper here, and put them in there because they're delicious. Oh my god, seriously, guys. It's so freaking good. Words in man, I'll tell you. Like, if you're making like like a cream sauce for a steak, like like literally boards it in milk in a pan. So let it reduce. Delicious. Yeah. Oh, are you getting, are you getting hungry? <laughs> it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's add our mushroom. So this is our mushrooms, breadcrumbs, our shallot, garlic, uh, white wine. All that delicious flavor, get in there. Got some rosemary in there, got some basil in there. So get that in there, because it's gonna be awesome. Okay, all right, okay, all right. All right, donezo. Stir this up. With a tiny, oh guys, also use a very small spoon for this. Do not use a big spoon, use a very small spoon. Small spoon you got. Actually, hang on a second. <laughs> that spoon is too small. Guys, use the smallest spoon you own for this, okay? That's how you know it's gonna be good, okay? Look at this, see? Already, 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 like, already doing better, look at this. Already working, but actually, it is working better for some like, weird reason. Look at this, see? So, you use a very small spoon. This is my smallest spoon, I think, by far, you know? Okay, okay. Look how cute, how cute it is, though. It's not a little. Okay, for real, though, this one's like better. So yeah, come on. Okay, come on. You guys uh, ever watch uh, Tiny Kitchen? Wait, is that what it's called? Tiny Kitchen? Yeah. Yeah, it's adorable. I love it. It's like a very tiny kitchen, as the name is called Tiny Kitchen, so you know. Okay, there's our mushroom filling. Looks pretty good. It's gonna taste a little bit real fast. That's uh, pretty good. That's uh, pretty good. Right? I love tiny utensils. <laughs> My tiny whisk? Ah, oh, where's the tiny whisk? Ah, oh, I miss it. Where is it? It's, oh, it's over there. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. All right. That may not be enough for these uh, mushrooms, but I think we're gonna, uh, gonna be okay. Okay. All right. I think we're doing good here. Let's start stuffing sh sh stuff. Should we do mushrooms first or jalapenos first? Let's go mushrooms first. So get your spoon, get you a mushroom. Oh wait, one thing, ah, I forgot something. Hold up, hold up. We need this. We need the panko right here. All right, so we're gonna make, gonna make a little topping for the mushrooms. And I think about when you like, when you bake stuff as a topping, like red comes burn real fast. To make them not burn, you cut them in oil. So get some breadcrumbs, do a little bit of that. Just toss them around, they're nice and coated with some oil. And then, like, that'll make them like kind of fry as opposed to like burning because they're already very dry. Um, they're already toasted bread. So like, it's like toasting bread even more, so. There you go. All right, a little bit of that, it's fine. Easy. Easy breezy. Easy breezy. Okay, so let's get our pan here. 
jalapenos. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. Now I'll pick you some mushrooms. Get you a little spoon of the filling. Smush it down in the, the little cavity there, and boom, there you go. Line them up. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. This actually could fill up with like, like only up, probably mostly the mushrooms, honestly. Like, don't overfill them. You want like a little bit on top, like as it bakes, it'll definitely shrink. Like as the cheese melts and the water, even more water gets evaporated, it'll definitely shrink some. So don't get them too full, but don't be afraid to like have a little bit on top. Don't worry. We got a, got a big boy here. Fill him up. Uh oh, uh oh, got a broken side. It's fine. Don't worry. Another another big boy here. Fill him up. Yeah, it's like that. It's like fill the, the little cavity in there, you know. And like the cool thing is, like you're filling it with mu like with mushroom. It's mushroom on mushroom. This little guy, it's so cute, I'm little. So you're probably gonna have like differently cooked mushrooms, but like it's fine, you know. I mean, you can't control your mushroom size, so some mushrooms may be a little mushier, some may be a little more tender. Whatever. Just let them be them, you know. Oh really? Oh, like uh, like mushrooms are good for like uh, for uh, brain health. Interesting. My carbonite smart ass stumbles across useful cooking techniques. Story of my life. Yep, exactly. <laughs> All right. Especially magic mushrooms. Hirsch, guys, Hirsch loves magic mushrooms. If you guys like got a hook up for Hirsch on the magic mushrooms, hook them up. Hook them up. <laughs> so yeah, magic mushrooms though they are scary. You know, like psychedelic is scary because like. Who knows? Who knows how to go, you know? It's all like based on your mood and stuff, you know? So it could be like a great night or it could be the worst night of your, of your entire life. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, this is like, this is more stuffing than I could possibly ever, ever use, honestly. I thought, I thought we were, like, we were gonna be like, have a, a too much stuffing for the mushrooms. I don't think so, I think we are good. Oh, that's true, Macaroni and Brie. Guys, let's give Macaroni and Brie a big high five. A big virtual high five in chat. Whatever that means to you. Let's make it happen. I mean, it's, it, it is true. Like, I mean, mushrooms are awesome. You know, I mean, they are really, really awesome. Also, I like a nice messy mushroom. I like it to be like, whatever, you know? Yeah, your messiness is with my OCD. What do you mean? I'm like watching you do that and I'm like, no, make it perfect. Why? Because those don't look perfect. No, but like when you eat them, they're gonna be delicious. You mean like you want like like this, like this style? Like that. It's a little messy. That's too messy for you! Look Good at those idea. ones though. Those ones are way too messy over there. Yeah, we got messy mushrooms, guys. Welcome to the hashtag messy mushroom stream. <laughs> oh my god, is that the freaking hang on, Hirsch, is that the guy from the Wait, what is what is that what is that emote? It, it looks like the guy from like the um god, what is that show called? Like the, the ancient aliens guy. You know what I'm talking about? It looks like that dude. From over here, it looks like Neil Patrick Harris in <laughs> series of unfortunate events. Oh, is, 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 is that what it's, it's called? The, it's called The Thing, so I'm not sure like what that even means. Ah, oh, I broke the mushroom. Yeah, F it, we're gonna, we're gonna roll with it. Wait, is that is that what it is? Is that what it, what it is, Money Soul? Is that his name, Carbonite? David Avocado Wolf? It's a crazy name. I mean... Like, if, if that's your name, you have to, like, host a show called Ancient Aliens, right? You have to. Like, like, but that's, like, that's your only possible, career, like, career choice. Okay, these are looking not messy at all. Very clean. Very even. 
Should we eat this filling a little bit? Because it looks delicious. Spotty, get in there. It's really good. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Very, very tasty. Very, very tasty. Okay. Very tasty. I'm not going to say it was aliens, but it was for sure aliens. <laughs> yep, that guy. Oh, wait, hang on. Also, now, get a little bit of this. Hit him on top. I'm not going to say it was aliens, but it was for sure aliens. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Here, a little bit of this, some of that, some of this right there, just a little more of this here, probably. Probably like some more of this, probably like that. Oh, some of this. So. What's up? Oh, what up, Carbonite? Thanks for something, my soul. Welcome, enjoy that emote, the one emote we have. Enjoy it, spread it around, enjoy it. Cheers, everyone. You guys, if you have the emote, raise your your cider bourbon cheers. If you don't, then just raise a raise a glass. Just raise a glass to old uh, Muddy Soul. Welcome to the fam. Okay, these are good to go in the oven now. I'm gonna move these out off the. Uh, here we go. Okay, all right. Mushrooms are good to go. What's next? Oh yeah. So now now for now for the peppers. <laughs> This is, this is like taking like a, like a long time. <laughs> okay, but what ifs? All right, you got some extra crumbs here. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's get our uh, peppers going on. Oh, should we get this other sauce? No, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's get our peppers going. Also, these are. Bacon wrapped jalapeno peppers. So, you know, delicious. Also, guys, um, hopefully there's not like a lot of like lactose intolerant people in the chat tonight because literally everything tonight has cheese on it. So, so hope, hopefully you guys like cheese because we do. Apparently. All right, got our bacon opened up here. I need gloves for this, honestly. I had the one. No, I have the one. Let's 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 let's, let's wear the one. This will this will. Oh, we use them like hold our. Also, guys, once again, get a very small spoon. Okay, small spoon you got. Okay, if your spoon is too big, it will not work out for you. Okay, tiny spoon. This over here. Okay, I think this could be too small. Could be, too, could be too small. All right, then get your other half. Uh oh, oh, I'm already messed up. This one. I think this will be half of this one. Is that, does that seem right? Well, I'm thinking I can just fill the one half very full and just dome it. Mm. Try to like make this more efficient. Because you're messy. Excuse me. <laughs> Uh, excuse me? This is not, this is not the right. Uh oh, it's fine though. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All right, so there we go. We got jalapeno there, let's get some bacon going on. Because the bacon is gonna hold it together nicely. It's gonna be like, like, like a little sleeve. A little, a little, a little, a little, a little bacon sleeve. Okay? Like this. Put it around the bottom there. Just sort of do like this. <laughs> Just like that. It's pretty easy. Ain't no big deal. Why is, why is it so hard? Oh, I don't know. Okay, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold up. Hold up. Let's do this. Hold it there. It's very greasy, guys. Bacon's greasy, unless you guys knew that or not. Then we're just going to roll it. Boom, nailed it, first try. Yep, first try. Look at that. Now we're gonna kinda like, just like, kinda like fold it around it like this. 
And then, perfect. Boom. Get in there. Bacon wrap thing in the jiggy. In this. Right? You're putting the top on it? No. I mean, I'm going to, like, I like the last few minutes of cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Right? Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> okay, let's get some bacon out here. We need like this many pieces of bacon. Let's get another half of this. Get a bigger spoon because, guys, the whole small spoon was a joke. All right, and kind of fold it like this and get your other half and like kind of dome it. Beautiful. Any extra, just kind of scoop and drop back in the bowl. Get you a bacon slice. Very easy to do. Just get one. Hang on. Here we go. Use two hands if you have to. <laughs> okay, and then we're just gonna just kind of wrap it around it. Like so. Look at that. See? Easy. So easy. Oh, baby. Look at this guy. Oh, this is way better than the first one. Okay, and then kind of like scoop coop, coop it, cup it. And put it in uh, one of these slots here. This is gonna fall over for sure. Get in there. Get in there. Okay, it's fine. This is gonna fall over though. All right, we gotta make them. We gotta make them a little more, th like a little thinner. They, like, they gotta fit into the uh, slots a little better. I'm pretty sure. So this one, we're gonna use less cream cheese filling. Try to wrap it up again now, like this. Okay, like you so. The, the bacon adds a lot of thick thickness to it. <laughs> like that, okay. And then, boom. Right, and then this is gonna fall over, for sure. This is all gonna fall over. Guys, this is gonna be a giant mess in the bottom of the pan, but it's fine. So I made this giant mess. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna eat it still, like, for sure, for sure. Oh, I think I found our 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 weird matchup from the from the first one. This one does not match up again, but it's fine. Oh, the rest of them are definitely pairs. Okay. Okay. Then we got this guy. I'm gonna do like I'm gonna like cup it like this and then do a wrap because I'm crazy. Okay. All right. Yeah. Actually, that worked. That, oh, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be the freaking flagship right here. <laughs> this is gonna be the one. This is gonna be the Messiah. That one's gonna be the one, guys, right there. Okay, here we go. Get some of this. Scoop it on down. Form it into a bullet shape. Get the rest of this stuff in there. Get that on there. Okay. Oh, I said get a little more of that. Come on, come on, come on now. This one's very fat. So, boom. Okay, loving it. Loving it. I'm gonna try like this, like the scoop method again. And then we wrap. We scoop and wrap, guys. Hashtag scoop and wrap. It's like the bend and snap. Kinda, but it's a scoop and wrap. Way cooler. All right, boom. That one's gonna, that one's gonna fall over for sure. Look how thick. This was gonna be like this was like nice and like nice and slender. It's probably gonna be like the best, like the best one. It's probably gonna be the best one. Right, that's good. That's good stuff, though. Okay, looking okay. Looking pretty good. Okay, here we go. Let's do the the wrap, and then. The twirl. Wrap and twirl. Okay, yeah. Yeah, killing it. Killing it. Okay, put this guy right there. Okay. Two more. Uh, I almost had enough bacon perfectly lined out. Those look, I mean, they look awesome, though. I am not upset about how it's going to turn out. Should we toothpick them? Should we, should we toothpick them? Like through the top? Yeah. 
In case they fall, like, give them a little bit of support. I don't know. Probably. Because some of the bacon's slipping down, too. What do you mean? That front one. Damn it. Bacon! Why are you doing this to me? In front of everyone! Little jerk move, Bacon. All right, there we go. Gonna lay it down, make a little bed for it. Scoop and twist. Scoop and twist. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I really want slots here. Get long slots here, boys and girls. Okay. Look at that. Shape into a little mound. Smash down other side. So this one's gonna be a good one right here. I can, I, can, I, can, I can feel it. I feel this. I feel what's happening. Okay. Then we do scoop. Wait, what did I say? And twist. Is this also triggering your OCD, Spunny? Yeah, I can't watch. Oh, that one didn't scoop very well. Okay. All right, we're gonna hope these uh, work out okay. They're probably going to, but who knows? Gonna get a little bit of cheese bite here. What's up? Okay. Okay. All right, so that's good to go. Hopefully these don't fall off and become a giant mess. So you think we should toothpick them now? Okay, let's toothpick them real fast. Bring them back. Come on, guys. Come over here. Yeah, look, the bacon's sliding. Where's the toothpicks? Where do you have toothpicks? Uh, is it up here? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I see them. This is not my kitchen. I see toothpicks. What? <laughs> What'd you say? Not my kitchen. Yes, it is. Not my problem. Not my chin, not my problem. All right, let's put a toothpick in these guys. Put a little extra support. Just to be on the safe side. I'm worried about the cheese and melting off the bottom though. That's my big concern. If they start doing that, we're gonna turn them sideways. Let them cook on like, on like a nice rack. I thought the bacon would semi hold them together, but Push the bacon. I don't know. that one is gonna. What? What? How's that? How's that? Good. Nice. Okay. Two more, three more. Okay, boom. This, ooh, this one's definitely slipping. Slipping. Okay. And then a little bit of this action. Okay. I think that's pretty good. If they start to fall apart, we're gonna weigh them down on a little rack, a little rack action. Okay, boom. Also, a good little taste of cheese. I suppose. Try it. It's good. Okay, what's next? Now time for the crostinis, everybody. The finale. The finale. Yeah, like we should have done it half and like lay them on a like on like a little sheet pan, but whatever. We'll see how it goes. I mean I'm eating these guys either way, so yeah. Either way it's gonna happen. Average gamer. Follow. What up, Average Gamer? How's it going? Yeah, so um, I usually go with thick cut on the bacon, but with these guys, I wanted to like, cook the cook faster, so I figured thick cut would be like too much, you know? Too much thickness. All right, so next dish are our beef and mantra shea goat cheese crostinis. Okay, nice. All right, so first step, 
Let's get a little bowl for our goat cheese going on. We're gonna mix it with some uh, olive oil and a, like a little bit of dried herbs. So that's step numero uno. Let's probably get the. Should we go ahead and toss the mushrooms and stuff in the oven? I also think so. I also think that. All right, put our goat cheese in here. Like that. That's good stuff. A little bit of this. Oh, for bourbon? Oh, time for bourbon? We can't see that. Hirsch? Okay, yeah. Guys, let's do a little bit of Booker's. Booker's tastes good. Booker's tastes good. So, let's get a little bit in here. Here's to all you guys for hanging out with me tonight. All the follows. All the raids. Shout out to... Sushi Day, shout out to Muddy Soul. Shout out to all you guys. Raise your glasses, whatever you got. Love you guys. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Let's go and get our jalapenos uh, in the old uh, oven. No, mine's with the bitties. With the bitties? No, thanks, dude. Cheers to Noel, guys. Raise your glasses for Noel. Coming in with the with the bitties. All right, guys. Up glove. In effect. Okay. Wear it, love it. We're gonna bring our uh, our racks in a little bit. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, so now. Get our jalapenos going on. Not too tall? Nope. Always big. Alright, boom. And then our, well, mushrooms will put like five minutes later. Alright, so first step to a crostini is making some bread. At the end of the stream, what's up? No, dude, there are times where I've had too much bourbon on stream. <laughs> I've been like, I'm sleepy. I'm going to done. This one, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Yeah, don't think that's happened. No, that's exactly right. That, that has for sure happened. All right, so Cuban, a Cubano loaf. Just gonna slice it, and making sure it's even. Just slice some nice rounds, you know. Probably do like six. Four. Five, six, maybe eight actually. Hang on. What's what's our what's our beef looking like? Come here, beef. Uh oh, talk you down. All right. So yeah, let's do, let's let's uh, let's let's do eight pieces. If you use them, whatever. If you don't, then this we're not like you know short on bread pieces. So let's do eight. Beautiful. Beautiful. That back in there. What up, white science? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, no, I'm a guys. I am quite a singer. So, all right. So let's get our bread going on the griddle here. Put some olive oil down. Get our bread slices. Argentina, what's up? Welcome, dude. So, Bill Lyons wants to know if you have a vacuum sealer. I do have a vacuum sealer. Yeah. Which is, which is why that bread is in the vacuum bag. I'm a big uh, sous vide fan, so uh, we do like a Costco run every month or two. And uh, we used to load up on, uh, on meat. And then we vacuum seal it and freeze it. So then when I want a sous vide, I just pull it out of the freezer, toss in the sous vide, and good to go. But. For this one, we're gonna cut it out of the vacuum bag and slice it up for the crostinis. Yeah, dude, we, I, wait, wait, no, I thought we became best friends like a long time ago. I thought, I thought, I, I, I thought we could, dude, sous vide is amazing. I mean, it's definitely like uh, kind of cheating, but um, it's freaking great. Yeah, we, 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 we sous vide a lot of stuff. 
one of my favorite things to sous vide is pork chops because people get so weird about pork chops not being well done and pork chops should never be well done. Um, so once you can like control that and have like a perfectly medium pork chop where you know the bacteria is dead, um, but it's not a dry brittle, like literally like a crumbly piece of dry, terrible pork, then, uh, you know, there you go. Then there you go. All right, so in our little go cheese here, do a little sprinkle of some dry herbs, a little bit of rosemary, a little bit of basil, just a wee bit. Just have a little bit of, because our, I mean, our sauces are important, so don't go crazy. Who's you? <laughs> yeah, what's up, White Science? How, uh, how's Argentina, man? Oh, come on. Mix up here. Stir it up some. All right, so mix this up some. Also, guys, I love goat cheese so much. Yeah, so, uh, so no, I usually, um, I do my vacuum seal with, like, the piece of meat, like a sprig of rosemary or thyme, uh, and garlic and butter, and, like, a little pat of butter in there with it, so while it's sous vide, like, the, it's, like, being coated in, like, a tasty, herby butter mix the entire time, and then when I sear it, I put more butter and more herb, like, and then baste it while it's searing super hot, you know, it is nice, it is nice. meat going though, eh? Alright, so we're doing tenderloin, very low fat, gets done real fast, so we're gonna be careful with this. We're literally just gonna sear it till it's just like definitely mid rare, you know. Um, also, you, you don't wanna do it to where it makes like a bloody mess on your crostini, so we're gonna drain it a little, like a little bit. Also, paper towels, so a lot of that blood actually uh drips out so oh nice culinary arts nice 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 working on one of the 50 best the elephant steak yeah yeah, yeah. oh this is beef guys not elephant i've never eaten an elephant elephants are so so cool Alright, so for some reason, I'm not sure why, like look at this, like this is terrible butchering right here. Like, this is called silver skin. This is very tough, should not be on your filet. Not sure why it's on this one, but definitely gonna take this off because it's not, not good stuff. It will, it will, it will, it will, it will it, like that'll literally never be tender, so. Get out of there. So to make crostinis, we're gonna cut this in half. So this, uh, this is a pretty nice fillet, though. It's like a six ouncer. Pretty nice. Gonna cut it in half. Gonna slice it into uh, probably four pieces. You want like nice thick slices, honestly, because like this is like the star of the crostini, you know. So there we go. Boom! 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 Half, each half, and then half those halves. Like you so. Like so. Like so. Like so. All right, nice. Oh, we getting we getting that spicy over here too. Okay. All right, a little bit of olive oil in there. A little bit of salt, obviously. Okay, a little bit of pepper. 
So it grinds the pepper mill. Like that. A little bit of this in there. And then sear them up. This will take literally like a minute per side at most. You just want to kind of brown the outside of those pieces and then you are done. Yeah, these guys are also good to go. Kill that. Get a plate going on for these guys. Literally like that, so that's it. You want to get one side kind of brown and then flip them. Like yourself. Not using a slicer? No. Um, we did when we uh, did the uh, the carpaccio, and it was awesome. <laughs> right, this guy's probably good. That's probably good. Flip one more time. Let's like see how like there's like blood and water together on the top of that. Do one more flip to kind of like evaporate that. But you're pretty much good on these guys. It's not take a long to cook these guys. Mm-hmm. Also, this is delish. <laughs> I'm disappointing. <laughs> Pirate D, we are so sorry. <laughs> hey guys, Pirate D is disappointing. Do not do it for that, please. I just got to stay nice and at least at, at like at most medium, so we're gonna pull these guys off and let them kind of chill a little bit in there. All right, just checking our. Uh... Okay, they're still upright. Surprisingly upright. We get an upload. Come here, upload, ready, man. The bacon should shrink and kind of press it together, so it should be good. We had what guinea fowl today? What is that? Guinea fowl. <laughs> oh, poor old bitch. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about. I'm talking about. It's uh, kind of like a pheasant almost, but yeah, even uglier. <laughs> also, cheers, guys. Small bourbon for you. Okay, so what's next? Should we get our sauce going? Should we get our sauce pureed? Guinea fowl. All right, so we're gonna use our immersion blender here, like we all, like, like we do. I was using a blender, but me and blenders sometimes have a problem and don't love each other, so. I'm just gonna use uh, this this guy. To say the least. I'm just gonna use this guy. All right, this is an immersion blender. We're gonna set it to one to begin with. Already having problems here. It's fine. I may have splattered my computer with some some juices, but no big deal. Just 
This is juicy. Why is it so juicy? I am splattering juice everywhere. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. You, uh, you guys like ASMR? There you go. You'll love this. Alright, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Number two. Number two here. Sauce is good to go. Remember, uh, our red bell pepper coulis is looking good. Put that over there. We may have gotten some on the new MacBook, but it's fine. It's fine. It was free, so you know, whatevs. Let's see, maybe they'll wipe up here. Sorry, MacBook. You're so pretty. Okay, so boom. Red bell pepper coulis looks awesome. Let's do a little taste test. Freaking delicious, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> What's up, Marika? I do, I deserve that. I agree, really, I deserve it. Thank you for saying that. I, I didn't want to say it to myself, but it's true. This is the, this is the best channel ever. <laughs> All right, shake our stuff out. These guys are still upright, amazing. Uh, no Check one's doing KitchenAid is the commercial one. Yeah. Wait, what do you, uh, what do you mean? Oh, no, I, I don't think so. It's like, the, it's like, I mean, it's the one you can buy. It, it was expensive, so... I mean, I think it's commercial grade. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I don't freaking know. Oh, we got one, we got one drooper. It's fine, though. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna let it go. <laughs> what happened? Okay, we're gonna rotate our mushrooms here. They look freaking good, though. Okay, should we go ahead and build the Rosinis? What do you What do you think, Spody? May the Schwartz be with you, dude. Is that a freaking Spaceballs reference? I love you, Hirsch. Not we uh, became uh, we became best friends, for sure. Oh, Rika, thanks. The music kitchen and the food, awesome. Alright, let's go and build one of these dishes while the guys in the oven are finishing up. Should we do that, buddy? What? Should we go and like build the crostinis? Yeah. Nice. Uh, so guys, these are freaking delicious. Should take those out of here. Alright, let's look at how this Put it over here. I mean, you can't really see it, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. Alright, we a little spot here. What plate should we use? Should we use the, the red plate? Or do you think the red sauce would get lost on that? Like a white square? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Let's freaking do this! Also, the only ingredient you haven't seen yet for this is capers. Also, I'm not sure if you guys have a Costco card or a Sam's Club. We bought this shard of capers from Costco because they only sell giant containers of things. 
and we've had this for like a year. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's so many capers though. Look at this. It is like capers come in like a tiny like from like from like your, like your Kroger or your Publix or whatever. It's like a jar like this. This is like oh no, we got you for the next forty five years. Expires in twenty twenty, so we got like 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 a like year and a half. Dude, I know, I know, like, this is so many capers, dude. You will never need to buy capers ever again. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's get our bread out here. Like it so, like it this, like it that. This is a full plate. This is a full plate of stuff. Okay. Let's get our cheese mix here. Hi, Hayes. What up? I hate everybody wants capers. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I hate I'm gonna have you over one night. I'm gonna feed you food. It's gonna blow your mind. You, you will love capers. I'll do an entire uh, meal of only caper uh, based stuff. I do gonna love it. All right, so guys, the beef crostinis. Do a good layer of goat cheese. Because goat cheese is amazing. Smear it on down. Smear it on there. Like, like, like that, like that. There you go. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. Okay. Smear some more of that on that. I'm smelling some weird smells coming out of the oven, so I may check our... Uh, may check out what's going on over there. You know? Oh my god, this is... Spotty, this is like so much food for us to eat. What? This is like so much food for us to eat. Yeah. <laughs> this will be dinner tomorrow too. This is so much food. I should have made. I should have made all these. <laughs> Are you just now thinking that too? I can like unmake these. No, stop it. No. This is. You know what? No, we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna have like, like this many. This many. Cause that's that's crazy amount of foods there. We got one drooper. The mushrooms also could be done, possibly. The capers are amazing. Yeah, no, guys, I haze is rock. And make sure he knows that. Make sure he knows that how wrong he is on the caper tip. I was getting so close. I was getting, I was getting close. Like, like, are these done? Is the bacon done? I mean, the bacon is not going to get crispy. Move it over. Man, it looks like it's getting done now. Probably let it go for like a few more minutes, right? Yeah. We got one guy, we have one guy leading. The rest of them are doing pretty good. This one guy right here is not, not being a trooper. The rest of them are doing pretty good. Should I put the tops on them? Ah, get in there. Get in there. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Ah! Time for the torch. <laughs> are we are you guys want to torch stuff? No, 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 no. We're not going to torch stuff tonight. Not tonight. Oh wait, that's weird like autofocus there. That's weird. Okay. Anyway, let's go and build these guys. So we got your bread, you got your goat cheese. Go and sl slap, sl slap. Some meat on there. Like you so. And then you sauce. You then sauce. Oh, where's the other sauce? Come here, sauce. Yeah, normally I do, but squirt bottles, they kind of waste a lot of sauce, too. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of drizzle. Just gonna do like one of these guys. Ooh, that don't, don't, don't get a lot. That's a lot. That, that one got a lot there, guys. That was gonna be a, a wasabi one right there, no big deal. That's fine, that's fine. 
Like, guys, don't be too worried about the messiness of it all, you know? Just let it go. Because this sauce kind of evens it out. Like, this is a more, this is sweeter, kind of smoky. Kind of put it on there like so. Do a little drizzle drizz. Don't worry about the messiness of it all. Do a little bit of extra here and there. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> what happened? Yeah. That's right, like a real Picasso. Also, we have some uh, we have some celery leaves here. Let's chop these guys up. Kind of like parsley, but like the celery leaves, so it's got a little, little extra flavor to it, a little crispiness. So let's chop it up real fine. Like so. And then we add the capers. Oh my yeah. Oh my yeah. Give me a fork for these guys. go a little bit of celery stuff on top boom crostini's how's that look not, not even kind of messy messy but delicious gonna be delicious though it's all right now okay you get pics of this or is that like not pick worthy yeah. that was a that was an option you said yeah I'm gonna eat this piece of bread and cheese because, of course, I am. For real, though, like, 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 um, like a messy plate. It's cool. Like back in like the '90s, it was like so like very structured and like came like like nah, like the new like the way is like fill a plate up, cover it and stuff. That's really good. Okay. Okay. Check our other stuff. I think this is looking good. I think this is all. Oh, oh, easy mushrooms, easy. the bacon a little more without messing it up. That I don't know. <clears throat> so I want the bacon to be a little more crispy, but if it can't be, then like, whatever, you know? I want to eat it still. Also making myself a little mini crostini real fast. Where are you at? Sauce. A little bit of sauce. A little bit of uh, the other sauce. Mm-hmm. I can put it over there. Or do you want to put it over here? Yeah. What do you want to do? I mean, I want to eat one of them. Eat one. I'm also like making myself like a little like, uh, like a little mini one. Because I'm hungry. That's so freaking good, dude. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and let's calm down. Let's move on. Let's try some other stuff, okay? Here's, I mean, this is, like, this is one I would eat, be eating as it happens. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Okay. All right, the mushrooms look great. The bacon, I mean, I think, I think these guys are also done, like done. 
I mean, the, the, the thing about bacon wrapped jalapenos, the bacon won't like won't be crispy. It'll be like a more soft bacon. Oh, you want? I like what that works. You want? You want? You want to try it out? Let's try it out. All right, let's uh, let's plate up some mushrooms real fast though. Then we'll use uh, this this pan here. Some mushrooms here. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice. These for pigs also. Did you put celery on that too? Yeah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Do it. Well, Carmen, you're like the word torch is in your name. And like you have you have a forge. <laughs> you are biased, sir. Okay, let's go and toss this guy out. Alright, let's see let's see what happens. I'm also gonna eat this one mushroom real quick, because obviously it's gonna be delicious. Like so. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh, look. Crap. Okay. Go ahead and move. Uh, probably keep that. Keep this too. Uh, we're gonna try to torch and stop now. Oh, wow. Oh, well, Carbonite. Carbonite wants to do it, so we're gonna freaking do it. All right, jalapenos, let's go. Let's get this guy. This will be our uh, test pingo. Also, what is this guy doing there? We got some ooze on the bottom there. We're gonna definitely eat. I mean, like, these are still good. Like, like bacon is still cooked. Like, when it's not crispy, it's still cooked, obviously. But uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here, boys and girls. Take the cheese pick out. I mean, it's getting crispy. Did it get crispy? That's the real question. Are we crispified? Yeah, we are for sure. I mean, it could look a little bit more here. Should we fire it up again? No, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, dude, uh, oh, brulee poppers? Are you kidding me? Amazing. <laughs> well, okay guys, to be fair, I 
always keep one of these guys near me whenever there's fire involved. This is literally a, a like a miniature aerosol fire extinguisher. So if like something happened, I could like, toss it down and just do one of these, and it would cover it all in like a, like like foam. So, <laughs> so yeah, don't worry. I always got a backup plan. I don't always use the backup. <laughs> that was scary, Spody. Come on. Should we try this popper? Was it too scary to eat? No. Alright, so poppers are done. Mushrooms are done. All delicious. How are we going to take a picture of the poppers? I'm not sure. We'll make a plate later. Okay. I'll, only this, I'll only eat this one right now. Like right here, right now, though. Eat it. It's crispy. It's hot. It's a hot... It's a spicy meatball. Should I slice it? Woo. It is. It is quite hot. No money yet. Yeah. Like like uh, they're like eight bucks. Uh, like I have one here, one in the basement, and then one in the like like this side of the house. So in case something breaks out, I got like some sort of chance to like you know put the fire out before the house burns to the ground. Come on over, Pirate D. Slice it. It is a, it is steamy though. It is steamy. Oh man, it's hot. Okay, let it cool for a second. That is a hot jalapeno. Ah, oh, dude, charcuterie. Actually, we had charcuterie for uh, dinner last night. <laughs> Uh, do you get a do you get a picture of the the board? Mm -hmm. You wanna you wanna you wanna post a picture of our board from last night? I love making charcuterie boards. Um, so like yeah, we did a pretty good one last night. We had uh, a bunch of cured meats. We had some sausage on there. We had a bunch of olives, apple, a bunch of cheeses, um, a bunch of crostini, like a bunch of like bread pieces. Uh, it was it was it was awesome. All right, here we go. We're gonna go for jalapeno. It's still steaming. Oh, oh, uh, 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 yeah, no. I, have, I haven't cured anything, uh, no. But uh, I do want to get back into hunting this year. So if I do get a bunch of like a bunch of hogs, I'm definitely gonna look into actually like making some sausage myself. So here we go. We'll deal with this. Mm-hmm. That's freaking good. Hot! Hot though. Yeah, venison, for sure. I would love to get one deer and at least one hog this year. That's my, uh, like, hope, you know? Who knows? It's, 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 it's delicious. The jalapenos are a little crunchier than I want them to be, but not, not very spicy, so. What are you doing? Well, I think, I think we're done. Oh. Yeah, I think we are. Bring them over. Can you bring over the whole tray of poppers? Mm. Mm-hmm. That is pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Oh my god. Should put them like on like a plate? Yeah. Dude, those are so freaking good though. Boom. Boom. Oh, cheese. What are you doing? What are you doing? Not for daddy. That's for daddy right there. Okay. Get in there. Get in there and get in there. Boom. Poppers. Dude, they're so... They're so freaking good. That cheese filling, it's not like the, like the, like the bacon fats like in, infused in there with the jalapeno and stuff. Oh my god. Seriously amazing. 
Like what else we got? We have uh, we have more uh, mushrooms too. So if you guys are like like bored, come on over. Come on over and hang out. We got a bunch of food to eat. Oh my god, those are awesome. Oh my god. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for us. We made a bunch of food tonight. Delicious stuff. Come on over, hang out with us if you want to. You know where we live. We got food for everybody. But, if you're busy, we're gonna pass you off to another food and drink streamer who we hosted before. Make sure he's still streaming though. Uh, Hungary is such a great freaking. Actually, no, let's go. Let's go, let's go one up. Let's go, let's go, let's go one above. Let's go, let's go, host. No, stop. Please stop. Uh, guys, uh, don't leave though. We're gonna, um, we're going to, uh, we're going to uh, play you our outro video, which is sick. So check it out. It's awesome. But guys, I want to say I love you guys. Tonight's been awesome fun. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed the stream. Thank you for the raise, the follows. Raise your glasses to all of you. Hope you guys have a great week. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your Sunday evening, no matter what you're doing. I love hanging out with you guys. We're going to host somebody, but wait two minutes. We're going to play our outro video, and then we're going to send you guys over to somebody else who is doing a good cooking stream. Um, but yeah, guys, once again, thank you. Hope you like the content. Message me on Twitch. Message us on YouTube. Let me know what you guys want to see. We'll see you guys next week. And on a side of bourbon. Love you guys. We out.